Hi, I'm William Bitten, number 41 for the Springfield Thunderbirds. I'm from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. My mom had a really big family. There were seven kids. My mom, my mom's brother, son. One of our closest cousins for my brother and I. And Martin Pichet. So for the, for the people that don't know, so my mom's from Quebec. Um, and in Quebec, in French, they usually keep their last names. So uh, same family, but they just kept uh, the Pichet side. This all really started, um, I'm from Ottawa, he's from Montreal. Uh, for people that don't know, Montreal is just an hour and a half down the highway from Ottawa. Um, uh, obviously when I was uh, 16 years old playing the UHL, I got drafted by the Montreal Canadiens. So I ended up living in Montreal a couple summers, training up there with all the pros, working out. And I actually ended up living at his house, at his place with his parents for uh, two whole summers. So we spent a lot of time there together, um, really enjoyed our dinners together, playing cards, really enjoyed playing cards. And he loved his glass of wine, so I'd always have a, a glass of wine with him. He, he's an engineer, actually, really smart guy. One morning, he was uh, studying for exams, and I, I believe he asked his dad, you know, like, oh, my, my head's bothering me. Like, his dad told him, you know, like, probably from studying a lot, like, there's a lot of late nights, like you guys know, of the studying school, and kept hurting him, and a couple weeks went by, and they finally went to get x-rays and kind of check it out, and they found a big tumor in his brain, so. Um, you know, they, they gave him three to four years to, to live. It was terminal and he, he lived seven years. So, um, you know, seeing him battle that meant a lot to me, especially my brother. And, you know, some days you wake up and maybe I don't feel like coming to the rink as much or, you know, putting my work boots on and going to work. And, you know, it gives me a little more motivation in the morning to, you know what, you know, I'm playing uh, a sport as my job and I'm really thankful and lucky to do that and I enjoy what the, what I do and you know think think of that and you know him passing away at a young age you know it's it's tough and uh, you know just a little more motivation for me for me why it was so huge for my brother and I to start Bitsy's army uh, to keep Martin's legacy alive is you know just growing up close to home obviously he's from Montreal Ottawa and you know, I spent four or five years with the Montreal Canadiens, so I, we had a really special bond living at his house. And, you know, just being able to play golf with them or go on the ice. Um, you know, there's a place called La Ronde in Montreal, which is a roller coaster place. And, you know, just going there with him and, you know, just over the years seeing him battle, you know, having trouble walking up the stairs, um, can't drive, can't, can't do much, and just, Every day you see him battling and, you know, he would text me after hockey games, how I was playing, always watching my games, which I thought that was really cool to me. And, you know, always waiting for his feedback after games. And, you know, one day or a couple weeks, you know, not after a couple of my games, uh, ha not having him texting me, you know, you knew something was wrong. And, you know, obviously going to visit him, he wasn't the same person, but seeing him battle just motivates me. and. You know, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, it hits close to home and, you know, it's, it's, it's a touchy, you know, it's touchy for a lot of people and, you know, I, I can relate and, you know, we, we miss them obviously a lot. It's pretty special. The American Hockey League adopts what the NHL has been doing the month of November. From the organization, the Springfield Thunderbirds, allowing us to have a night like this it means a lot to me, to our fans, and a lot of people back home. Um, this is pretty incredible. Um, this means a lot to me and the memory of Martin Pichet. 